So the NFL's Deflategate report is in on Tom Brady, the great quarterback, supposedly ordering footballs to be softened up, inflated below league regulations for the AFC title game that the Patriots won preceding their victory in the Super Bowl. And what does the report find? Tom Brady, more probably than not, was generally aware of footballs being deflated and that it is unlikely that an equipment assistant or a locker room attendant would deflate game balls without Brady's knowledge and approval. So we're going to hang Tom Brady out to dry, maybe find him, maybe suspend him over more probables, generalies, unlikelies, please. I mean, you know, there are people who just hate the Patriots and they hate Brady so much. There are people out there, and some of you are among them, who if you found out from the league commissioner, Roger Goodell, that Tom Brady was being banned from the NFL for life, being sentenced to blow up every Patriots game ball by mouth for the rest of his life from the confines of a maximum prison cell, you'd think that was just about appropriate justice for Tom Brady. I submit to you it will be an outrage if there's any fine or any suspension of Tom Brady unless he confesses and says, yep, yep, I was all over it. I had these guys soften up the balls because I play better with softer than regulation NFL footballs. Last winter when this came up with the Flategate, Brady denied any knowledge and said he would never break the rules and doesn't know anything else about it. Unless he confesses, they have no smoking gun and there should be no penalty against Tom Brady. That's what I think. What do you think? Hey, join me for the Friday edition of Unheading Your Live right here on uh, the 50,000 Watt Front Porch. Special guest at 10 after 8 on Friday morning, Orlando Police Chief John Mina on all of the policing issues that are out there from body cams to the situation in Baltimore, Ferguson, you name it. We'll be talking with the chief right here, and I invite you to join us. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow here on News Radio 1025 WFLA FM and still on AM 540.